welcome back to my YouTube channel or if you are new here, hi, my name is Missa, covered in lipstick. As you can see by the title today, I'm doing another lip swatch video. This was not the video I had planned for today. I actually had planned a pre-mark haul, but things just didn't work out. So this is my backup. I like keeping to my schedule and I wanted to do this video anyway, so I just bumped it up. Fits in well with our Appreciating Drugstore Makeup series that we're doing. So yeah, I thought you might enjoy it. So they released 10 shades. These are satin. I'm just going to tell you a little bit about them. It's a satin formulation delivering 10 shades of high impact colour to the lips. Smooth and lightweight application with extreme colour payoff. Long lasting colour that packs a punch. All of these have like maybe late 80s to 90s, maybe early 2000s. I know nothing about music history, like R&B names, I think I'm okay to say that. So the names are like um, No Diggity, No Scrubs, My Neck, My Back, things like that. So I feel like it's kind of a 90s theme and I feel like the colors kind of fit with that. But anyway, I've been doing enough talking. So without any more, fannying around. If you want to see me swatch all 10 shades, keep on watching. I feel the warmth of your skin. I feel the touch of your hand. Love you with all of my heart. So this first one is called Ghetto Superstar. And it looks very brown. Very creamy. They're so like creamy and like slippery that I feel like like if your hair got caught in it, it would smudge off like lip gloss does, if you know what I mean. But that is that color. Not sure it's for me. They just kind of smell like lipstick, like not very expensive lipstick, if you know what I mean. That is not my favourite kind of colour, but it's, you know, some people will really like it. I think we'll do this one next because the packaging looks really, really pretty. California love. Oh yeah. Yeah. It's a, just a very, very, very bright red. That is California Love. It definitely strikes me as more of a summer red. It's a very bright neon, in your face kind of red, more of an orange um, base to it, although it still makes the teeth look pretty white and I've not got white teeth at all. So red lipsticks always really help me out. I like this color, it is nice. This one next because it looks more pink. This is the shade My Boo. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. We'll, we'll, we'll see. We'll see. Yeah, this is definitely more of a nude than a pink to me on the packaging. It just looks like a pretty pink, but it's more, I don't know, it's different. It definitely has a pinkiness to it. It's definitely not a shade I would wear, like I wouldn't wear this ever in my life. I don't think it is that flattering on me. But I do feel like a lot of other people would like this shade because it's somewhat bold but not at the same time. Um, I feel, honestly I've got to say, the scent is not really disappearing. Usually like if something's quite scented and then you put it on your face it disappears but this scent seems to be like, no, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna hang around and chill out with you, but not a scent I love. The next shade is B 
Bootylicious. Gosh. Barney the dinosaur. She's purple. Okay, Bootylicious is one of those Barney the Dinosaur purples. It's not my favourite kind of purple. I also feel like, even for me as someone who likes quite wacky colours, it's just not a flattering shade of purple. I think these purples look really beautiful on really deep skin tones, but I think on me when I'm really, really fair, I'm, I just, I don't think it suits me. It makes my teeth look so bad as well. Almost halfway through, our next shade I think is going to be a red, and this is called More Money, More Problems. Not in my world. This is a beautiful dark red. I already know I'm going to like the colour. Let's just whack it on. Yeah. Gonna have to excuse my application. <laughs> doesn't matter. So this is more money, more problems. It's a very pretty shade. I really like the colour. I would definitely wear it all winter long. Um, my only concern is that it's so glidey and so satiny that it would just go everywhere throughout the day. We're halfway there, the next one we're going to do is my neck, my back, lol. <laughs> Bet you're all singing the lyrics now. I'm not going to like this colour. <laughs> I thought I was going to hate this colour more, so I'm pleasantly surprised, although I don't like it. <laughs> so it's, it's not my favourite colour. But, you know, seems today nothing, nothing's gonna be my favourite, I don't know. My neck, my back. My pussy cat and my... We are over halfway, that makes me happy. It's actually not hurting though, which is good. So this one's called No Diggity. This looks like a lovely plum. I think I'm gonna like it. I think I am. I hope I am. I really want to love something out of this video or it's just gonna be like, eh. <coughs> Let's give her a whirl. Pretty. Pretty ugly joking. <laughs> Well, I once said that to me in primary school, he came up and he's like, you're so pretty. And I was like, <laughs> and he's like, pretty ugly and then ran away. Still think about that sometimes, Richard. Well, finally one that I really like. Still, probably wouldn't wear it a lot because it gets on my teeth very easily. It's gonna, I just, I don't think I like satin formulas to be quite honest, but that's a personal preference thing. This colour is so pretty, so pretty, and I think it would suit like every single skin tone on earth. I think we'll go in with this one. Um, what are you called? Not peel here. This one's called No Scrubs. What a song. What a song. Let's do it then, No Scrubs, which is a deep brown. It's weird, I don't actually hate this colour, like hate, hate, hate. It's quite like a grey toned brown, kind of like MAC. Is it stone? But it's not but it kind of is, like it's got that grey undertone to it. 
So I kind of like it, but at the same time, I'm like, Melissa, it's pure brown, how can you like it? But I'm not horrified by it. I prefer it to the lighter nudes that I've tried on. I'll say that. I forgot to pick a new shade. I've got red or an orange. I'm just gonna put them behind my back and just pick the next one. Bang! This is Gin and Juice, which is the bright orange. Just, yeah, very bright neon orange. It's really pretty. This is the kind of colour I would wear more in the summer. Yeah, that colour is stunning. Again, would wear very happily. Oh, it's so pretty. I really like that colour. Again, what's it called? Gin and Juice. That's gorgeous. That's probably my favourite so far. Definitely my favourite. So last up we have Hot In Here, another epic song. Dark red. Looks lighter than the last one, darker than the other one. So let's let's bung it on. Well, what a mess of an application, but that's a really, really pretty shade. Really like it, goes with my makeup, goes with my fair skin, but again would work on any skin tone I feel. So that is all 10 shades swatched of the new sleek lipstick. My favourites are definitely Hot In Here, which I'm wearing, but I prefer um, Gin and Juice. I think that's the prettiest like neon orange. I don't have many orange lipsticks, so I like it. My problem with these, which is what it says with the tin, is that they are satin lipsticks, and they're very satin. They're like the very bammy bammy slippery slidey side of satin you get some kind of medium satins and then more matte satins these are at that end of the satin so i feel quite like these are the kind of lipsticks that i put on and i'm like oh, i look so good and then i go out and 10 minutes later i go into a shop and i see myself in a mirror and i've got it smeared all over my teeth because i don't know i don't know if it's my application or what it is i always get liquidy satiny lipsticks on my teeth that's i prefer mattes or liquid mattes but there are some pretty shades they're very smooth to apply very pigmented no patchiness at all but the smell isn't that pleasant i do think i'm getting kind of immune to it now i'm not noticing it as much but in the beginning this smell was not very nice and i can still smell it and kind of taste it a little bit so it's it's i mean it's just a like cheap lipstick smell you know, they are cheap lipsticks at the end of the day. But yeah, that is all of the colours swatched. What do you think of the shade range? Um, I think it makes sense given the theme, but it's not my favourite range that Sleek has released. So there we go, I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. Let me know if you wanna see more lip swatch videos in the future. It's quite new to me, to my channel, but I would love to do like proper lip swatches a lot more like NARS. If you want to send me all your lipsticks, I'll swatch them all, I promise. Leave me a comment down below. Like I said, I do reply to all of my comments and subscribe because it's just a polite thing to do and the internet is not a very polite place. A huge ginormous thank you to my Patreons. Thank you guys for supporting me so much in a extra way. It, it means so much to me and just thank you so much. I do feel like I just repeat myself in saying that it, it baffles me, but it does because like 99% of you are complete strangers, but you choose to support me, Melissa, in Edinburgh. 
putting makeup on basically so yeah it does baffle me but it it's very appreciated and just know that it's appreciated <laughs> i'm bad with words but if you want to become a patron the link is down below in the description box you get early access to videos as often as i can do that often i upload videos the same day they go live and um, patreon only videos and giveaways basically when i have money if you don't want to become a Patreon, don't worry about it. Watching my videos is a massive support, so please keep on doing that. And on that note, I'm going to piss off and probably have a nice bath, I think. And then go to bed and keep watching Succession, which I'm very much enjoying. So, yeah, I hope I will catch you on the flip side. Bye!